Hazard Godzilla fans, kaiju fans, collectors, and just general people of YouTube, this is Chanzilla1964 coming back to you with yet another figure review. This time we'll be reviewing the new re newly released Bandai Movie Monster series Gamma Rebirth, aka Gamma Anime. Um, pretty much Gamma figure. Um, so this guy just came out April 1st. Very exciting new release, especially with the new um, updates that we'll be getting for the Gamma Rebirth anime series. Um, it's very exciting to be getting a figure and to finally see the full design of Gamera, which I must say, I am liking this very, very much. Very much. Um, so, just jumping into detail. Just, wow. I mean, the details are a little mute, I will say that much, but with the vinyl figure, it's gonna be... Granted, the details aren't gonna be as crisp. And define as something like an SH Monster Arts figure, but I mean, from the detail from Gamera's head and the face, you have the little frills and the folds and the wrinkles in his face over here. I mean, I really like this Gamera's face. Just wow. And then you have a smaller tusk compared to the past Gamera's, which is very interesting for this design. Then you have all of his neck folds, what looks like gills on this side. Um, the armored plating going down his neck, his back. It continues on his arm over here, all over his fingers as well. Um, it stops because there's these spike details over here that are part of the design. Then you also have the armored details over here as well, some more spikes. Then you got Gamera's fleshy details, which are done very nicely right on the tail, on the legs, on the arms. Well, the inside of the arms are a little smooth compared to the um, legs and stuff, but that's that's not a problem. Um, the chest over here, the chest area has really nice cracks and grooves going on for Gamera's um, chest carapace area. It looks very, very good. And for me, the thing that shines for this figure is going to be, or even for this design, is going to be Gamera's shell. This shell has got to be my favorite Gamera shell design by far, with the Gamera 3, aka the Gamera 2003 shell coming in a close second. Because I mean, with just the very ancient looking turtle shell aesthetic going on, or the um, alligator turtle shell aesthetic going on over here, and how spiky it looks, and how def well defined the spikes are too. It just looks very nice and looks very, um. Very natural now, like um, a turtle you would see in the, pretty much in nature, um, in your everyday compared to other Gamera shells where it just kind of looks very different, I guess you would say. Um, but the shell detail continues up until the tail, with the tail having this very nice armor texturing that kind of gives me like um, old Japanese artwork or armor. Um, kind of feel to it, which I really, really like for the tail. But yeah, the details and design and the design for this camera, I think, is really, really good. And um, Kyoto Studios knocked it out of the park. Moving on to paint for Gamera over here. There's not much going on with the paint department. What we do have looks 100% out of the park amazing because we have this very nice kind of bluish green iridescent paint going on for the chest areas where on the poster you have this kind of design going on for the first Gamma Rebirth, Rebirth posters that came out. Um, you got it going on the chest and the neck area over here and the eyes. I especially love how they put it for the eyes. And then the only other place, two places that you're going to find paint are going to be Gamera's mouth and Gamera's toes and fingernails which are very nicely painted with this black paint. But yeah, the teeth are going to be painting this very nice kind of brownish gray color, which I really am digging. And then I really like the paint that they use for Gamera's mouth, the inside of his mouth, with the whole pink kind of fleshy tone color over here. So yeah, what we have here is really, really good. Although what I'm seeing from the trailers is that Gamera's body is a little more green, like a little lighter green than the shell itself so and it's just a small nitpick but that's just probably something i'm going to touch up with although it's not needed for this figure because in a lot of shots it differs because Gamera may just be one whole color in one shot then the next shot you would see him with the kind of 
two shade tones where the body is green and then the carapace and the shell is this dark color, which is actually very, very nice. So yeah, that's about it for the paint department, but I really think that Bandai really didn't need to do anything more than what they already have here because it looks really, really nice. Moving on to Gamera's articulation. He only has two points of articulation. And there are the two points you can have. Oh, I'm sorry, no, three points. But the two points I was talking about are gonna be his arms. Both of his arms rotate. So you can have him like the kind of battle ready camera. What's up, camera? Kind of just chilling camera. I, I mean I don't know. There's there's a lot you can do with this camera figure with the articulation as at the same time there's nothing much because you're just gonna be if you're gonna be using it for play value it's just gonna be kind of like a sumo wrestler kind of thing going on over here which by the way design wise i forgot to mention he's he's a he's a really wide camera and he's also a very um bulky camera which i think that might be one of the reasons i like it too because it's just very different design choice um but that's straying away from articulation because the last point of articulation for this guy you have his tail over here which gets blocked up by the spines on the tail and these parts for the shell so yeah three total points of articulation the head does not move because there's this glue seal over here even though not very noticeable and the legs have no articulation because they're just very um chunky and I guess Bandai took the creative liberty to have the legs just stay connected to the body, which is totally fine. I don't mind this at all. I also don't mind the arms, surprisingly enough. So, yeah. Moving on to size comparison for Gamera. He's a wide figure. Um, and only reason I have out the singular point Godzilla is because he's, an, he's the official anime Godzilla for me. Um, and I'm going to be using him as an official anime Godzilla. And I think this sizes up pretty nicely with him being a little taller than Gamera, if you're going to go off of play-wise. I'm also using him because we don't have any of the other Gamera trilogy um, kaiju figures. They're supposed to be coming out in June. I know we have Jiger and Gauss lined up already. And then we're just trying to see who the other three monsters are because in this new series, Gamera is going to be fighting five monsters. Or up against five monsters. So yeah. Um, but I'm going to say right now, if you only got this guy and this guy only, and you are got to hold up until June, play value-wise, I think he sizes up pretty nicely. He's just going to be really bulky, but it works. For me, it works. Now that'll be it for today's review guys. I know it's been it was a quick one and it was kind of a little choppy here and there. Things are being a little kind of a little hectic over here at Chinezilla Studios, but um hopefully things will be getting settled up soon. Um be on the lookout for the next re figure review, which will be the King Ghidorah. 1991 King Ghidorah that just came out from Bandai as well. So just stay tuned because we have a lot of fun projects, a lot of fun figure reviews, and a lot of good stuff coming out this year in 2023. Another great year for Godzilla and Gamera. Or pretty much if you're kind of a kaiju tokusatsu fan in general. So, yeah. This has been Chanzilla1964 saying. Until next time, guys. Peace, peace.